Scorpio, welcome to this just in time love reading and if you are watching this Scorpio, trust that there is a message here for you in terms of love, past, present or future. I have got you deserve love Scorpio, you are lovable, you are deserving and you are worthy of a great love, one that is positive, one that is uplifting, one that adds energy to your life. Okay, what else have we got? We've got Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, well, look, there could be a honeymoon period with somebody coming in here. If you have met somebody and there is a lot of passion and energy, you've been, you're actually being asked just to go there. You know, you deserve love. Enjoy it. Maybe, you know, you're going to be taking a trip with a lover or partner here because you deserve love, right? You deserve to actually put time aside to actually celebrate each other. Let's go further into this message, Scorpio. What have we got? Communication is the key. This is the new moon in Gemini here. So, you know, maybe there is some, you know, some conversation that needs to be had. Maybe there is some sharing of heart, some sharing of feelings that's going to bring you closer together here. Okay. Maybe there are conversations around commitment honeymoon okay that is you know obviously associated with marriage and exclusivity and that type of thing so there could be a you know a relationship or a connection that is ascending to the next level here let's go to the tarot and get more information on this for you Scorpio we've got temperance that is a beautiful energy of you know it's divine guidance above all things but it's also about balance okay and about conditions almost being right for some kind of new path you know in this connection so I am feeling an ascending like I said but communication is key it feels like you need to talk about this now um, temperance can be asking you to have patience so maybe you have been waiting for somebody to say they love you or you know that they are in or they are more committed and it could be almost the right time for that maybe you are needing to open up the conversation Scorpio what else do we have all oh, the star Aquarius energy this is often about you know destiny this is often um, about divine timing here it is also Scorpio about vulnerability okay so it just feels like there is a vulnerable conversation that needs to happen here now both the star and temperance are healing energies so there could be something that you're needing to talk through once we bring things into the open and discuss them we heal them right so there could be you know there could be something there star is Aquarius we've got Sagittarian energy with temperance and of course we have the Gemini moonology card and I've got the page of pentacles okay I feel like this big conversation is about uh, a couple of different options for you obviously it's gonna be different for some of you for some of you it's around whether or not you're going to have children or how you're going to bring family in your life for others of you it is around the next stage in your commitment now that could be you're in the honeymoon phase uh, or you know it's early stages and you're wanting to know you know is this person really committed to a future with me exclusive all that type of thing become my partner for some of you it could be moving in together of course engagement marriage retiring together you know all of the different stages here so it feels like that is almost within your reach but communication is key you've been patient and it's like it hasn't happened organically that conversation so stars are aligning but it feels like maybe you need to open up that conversation Scorpio you deserve love so you know you deserve to to have those words yeah the moon is here Pisces energy because at the moment it feels like there's a lot of things that just haven't been expressed there's a lot of undercurrents you know the feelings are there but there's also this kind of sense here Scorpio that you don't fully know where you stand or what page your person is on because in the moon energy it can be where you might be dealing with somebody who keeps their cards close to their chest or you know isn't really forthcoming with feelings or conversation around emotional matters 
Uh, so what I'm feeling here is that you probably need to help them along a little bit. I think your intuition is sort of telling you that things are on the right page here, but it's, I feel that you need that validation, Scorpio, like you need to hear those words because there's a feeling of it stirring up some maybe slightly irrational fears or anxieties within you. And that is fine, Scorpio, but it could possibly be coming from your shadow because there might have been you know, hurts in the past or, you know, where somebody, you know, was leading you into that place of thinking they were all in and then there could have been someone that left because you deserve love. It's almost coming from a place of, you know, that you feel like you're not going to get it or secure it, if that makes sense. But the Nine of Pentacles is here and that is a really beautiful energy of, you know, stability and success, but it is an energy of good things take time. And I think that there's also an element of the slow burn with this person and just, you know, the slow burn, but I think they might need a helping hand in those conversations because otherwise they probably just won't have them. Okay, we've got the second page here and it's the page of cups and this is that kind of emos emotional message. So I think that, you know, you will receive that. <laughs> but like I said, you need to kind of help them along. Uh, expect the unexpected and expect some kind of happy outcome here. So I think that you're going to hear what you want. The page of cups is usually a very positive and happy message when it comes to love, children, uh, you know, uh, connection at the, in the heart because it links to the Ace of Cups. So there you go, Scorpio. Off you go. You know, it sounds like things are on the right page, but uh, you need this kind of validation from your person. So wishing you all the best with it. If you'd like a personal reading, please do follow the first link down below to head over to my website to check those out. And uh, do follow along on Instagram for daily, uh, daily readings. And I'm doing free little mini personal readings over there from time to time. But you do need to be there and checking my story for when I put the call out. I am just wishing you all of the love and magic, Scorpio. Do take very good care. Bye for now.